friends, this week I wanted to share my autumn evening routine with you and show you some of the comforting rituals I've embraced to stay warm and cozy as the days get shorter and the nights get colder. I begin my evening by wrapping up work, usually around 5.30 p.m. To wind down from the workday, I like to play an autumn ambience video on YouTube and then jot down any notes, thoughts, or to-dos for the next day in my notebook and planner. This simple routine helps clear my mind after a busy day and transition from work mode into relaxation mode as I begin my evening. After work, I usually go to the park to walk and read. On chilly evenings like this one, I like to bring a thermos of hot tea to keep me warm. During my evening walks, I look for the subtle changes in nature as autumn transforms the landscape into shades of red, purple, and gold. Leaves dance in the wind and birds bounce around the brambles, looking for berries in the fading light. I can't imagine a more magical setting for some cozy fall reading. I just finished A Discovery of Witches, and I'm already on to the next book in the series, Shadow of Night. When I get home from the park, it's time to make dinner. Alex and I usually cook together since teamwork makes the process so much faster and more enjoyable. The end of the summer was so hot that I didn't feel like cooking as much as I usually do, but now that the weather is finally cooler, I am so excited to be cooking cozy, warming foods again like soups, stews, and roasted vegetables. Tonight we're having a comforting white bean and mushroom stew. I will link the recipe below. Thank you. 
Our house doesn't have a dishwasher, so doing the dishes always takes a little bit of time, but we like to play an autumn playlist while we clean to make it more enjoyable. After dinner, Alex and I usually watch a TV show to relax and wind down. But first, we're making hot chocolate with these pumpkin hot chocolate melts that we got from Trader Joe's. We're going to sip on these while we watch our show. Lately, we've been watching The Vampire Diaries, which is a bit of a throwback to my teen years, and it has a lot of moments that we now find really funny as adults, but it's just so fun and nostalgic to watch this time of year. And it's a great show to casually play in the background while I knit and Alex plays video games. After watching an episode, I usually shower, but on this especially chilly night, I decided to warm up with a bath. I love adding something to my bath to make it even more soothing, like Epsom salts or dried lavender, but tonight I'm using this pumpkin bath fizzy. On nights when I have some extra time before bed, I've been practicing painting and illustrating. Tonight I'm following a tutorial on painting autumn leaves with gouache, and to be honest, I quickly realized that this tutorial was a bit over my skill level, but I tried my best and really enjoyed it. Lately, I've been focusing on learning and enjoying the process of creating instead of putting pressure on myself to create something great. Something that's helped me overcome my perfectionism around creativity is to experiment with different painting styles or crafts that are outside of my usual comfort zone. Approaching these projects with a simple goal of having fun the way I did as a child has brought so much joy to the creative process. Now it's finally time to get ready for bed. This is such a simple change, but I notice a huge difference in the quality of my sleep whenever I read before bed instead of being on my phone. Not only does this habit help me avoid blue light, but I find it so relaxing to let go of the day and escape into another world for a few minutes before I go to sleep. I know 
this time of year can be challenging for so many of us, myself included, as we experience colder and darker days. So I hope that this video has inspired you to incorporate some more warmth and light into your own evening routine. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful and very cozy night, and I'll see you next time. Good night, friends.